Hi there, this is Phil with PhilFX. I've got another quick tutorial. I uh, wanted to put a quick tutorial together here. I uh, had a quick question from uh, Stephanie on my uh, ex uh, extruding in Maya. And she had a question, well, uh, when you do an extrude, uh, how do you keep the faces together or how do you keep the faces separate? And I thought that was a good enough question that uh, the best way to answer that is maybe uh, just go ahead and do a tutorial. Uh, biggest reason too also is uh, between the, at least the three latest versions, 2015, 2016, and 2017, it looks different in all three versions. So I don't know what version you have, Stephanie, but hopefully it's one of these three. So let's go ahead and get started. So uh, the problem involves when you do an extrusion on a face, you can keep the faces together or you can have the faces be separate. So I've got Maya 2015 up here. <clears throat> And I'm going to select by faces, and I want to make sure that in my selection that I do a camera based selection. You want to make sure and do that if you want to only get the cameras on the front face. If I turn that off and go in here and do a marquee selection, you see I select those faces. But if we go around, you can see I selected the faces on the back, and that's not what I want. Uh, this is particularly very important when you're doing extrusions. You want to make sure you're only extruding the faces that you want. So let's turn that on. And I'm just going to grab some faces here. <clears throat> let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and do an extrusion. And there's a number of ways you can do that. Uh, I do it so often that uh, I know that this icon right here is for extruding. The other way you can do it is you go up to uh, Edit Mesh and Extrude. And we go down here and we have the extrude command. But, <clears throat> excuse me, I want to go ahead and just use the command here. And so we'll do an extrude. And if I pull this out, okay, at the moment you can see the faces are together. And uh, in Maya 2015, If we go over here and look at the extrude tool in the modeling toolkit, you can see down here in extrude, here's what you're looking for. Keep faces together. If I check that so the faces are not kept together, and let me go around here and I'll uh, select another marquee, and we'll get some other faces here, and I'm going to do an extrude again. So we'll extrude, and at this point in time, I pull this out. Yeah, that's not what I want. All right, so we pulled that out, and it kept the face together. Yeah, this time I have this off. So we go in here. Uh, there we go. So I did a second extrude, and I turned that off. And you can see with the second extrude, when the faces are not kept together, that they pull apart. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and we'll do that again. So I'll do a selection here, and we have these faces. And I come down to do an extrude, and here I turn the keep faces together and turn that off. So you can see what happens. There when you turn them off, they pull apart, and if you check keep faces together, they stay together. It defaults in Maya 2015, I believe, to keeping the faces together. But actually, uh, I think it also remembers where you last kept this state. If you left, last kept this state as being don't keep the faces together, then the next time you do one, uh, it, will, it will be in that state. So that's 2015. So let's go ahead and let's look at 2016. I'll do a uh, pause here on the video. Let me open up 2016, 2016 and we'll see what that looks like. Okay, we're back and I've got 2016 open and you can see here I've got the same sphere again and let's go in and we'll select faces. Let me double check my camera marquee at the moment I have camera based selection which is what I want. And I'll go in and I'll select some faces here. And in 2016 I want to have the modeling toolbar up here. We want to edit mesh and I can extrude. And if I extrude through that menu, you can see we just have the extrusion this way and I can do an extrude. 
And now with, with the version 2016 though, we have this dialog box that comes up. And you can see here we got keep faces together on and I can toggle that to keep face together off. So I can do that and pull this out. And there we have the faces together as being off and I toggle that back to on and it'll pull them together. You can see that in 2016 this actually works a lot nicer than what it did in 2015. So I can toggle that on and off <clears throat> and I can make the faces either uh, keep them together or pull them apart. There's uh, many instances in modeling where you actually don't want to keep them together and many instances in modeling where you do want to keep them together. Uh, so that's the way it looks in 2016. Uh, the other way you can see it and you can do this tool is we can go in here and let me do a marquee select again and get some faces and I can go over here to the toolbox and we can come down here to extrude and it's the same kind of thing using the uh, the toolbox here uh, I can go in and I have the dialog box that comes up keep face together and I can pull those out and the faces are kept together I can just I'm just uh, left mouse button clicking and dragging back and forth to get this keep faces on and off. You can see that double sided arrow and it's uh, making that work. So let me hit pause again and I'll open 2017 and we'll show what it looks like in 2017. It's pretty close to 2016. I got 2017 open and let's create our sphere again. Uh, grow it up a little bit and let me go in and uh, go into uh, Component mode, select faces, drag across some uh, faces here, do a selection, and uh, we can go in and I can just go to the extrude component mode right there. And it's just like in 2016 where I have the dialog box that comes up. I can set the specific parameters. I can keep faces together on or off, and I can toggle that. I can do my extrude, pull them off. Uh, slide that back they go on uh, one thing I want to show and uh, maybe you are aware of this maybe you're not aware of this but you see this little blue uh, kind of a switch here what that does is that switches you between doing your uh, extrusion in local coordinates and world coordinates at the moment it defaults to being in local coordinates and you can see that because the face that faces that get extruded from this sphere are normal to the existing faces when they pull out and most of the time when you want to do an extrusion uh, that's what you want but sometimes you want to be able to extrude and keep things on world coordinates and so let's go ahead and do an extrusion we'll do that on world coordinates so I go in here do a marquee select again on some faces and uh, come up here and hit my extrude box but this time let me slide this over what I want to do is I come up and I just click on this little, you can see it changes from a teal to an orange, and I just click on that, and now I change from local coordinates to world coordinates. And when I do my extrude, you can see that there is, it's pulling those faces out, and it's pulling them in uh, world coordinates, not local coordinates. This pulling was not done uh, tangentially to the normals of each of the faces, they were done uh, in reference to the world coordinates. <clears throat> and so that's something that to keep in mind, if you didn't know what that, that did, uh, what that little uh, teal button did, uh, you do now. So that'll switch you between world coordinates and local coordinates. So uh, hopefully this answers that question. And this has been Phil with Phil Effects. Thanks a lot.